Hello and welcome back to another episode where I force Alex to try Baldur's Gate 3 inspired cocktails, only they're usually bad. Today we're making a Will inspired drink, let's call her the Eldritch Blast, so let's dive in. First, as always, one ice cube into a vessel of your choice. Today we have a skull because Will's patron, the devilish Mazora, forces him to kill people for hire. Next I'm going with a blend of gin and whiskey. I don't really imagine these two mesh together all that well, but to me, Jin is posh and fancy, just like Will's life as the son of a duke before he made a pact with the devil. However, whiskey seems rugged and tough, just like Will's life as the Blade of Frontiers. So we're gonna mix the two together as an homage to both sides of Will. Then a dash of vanilla. I like all the companions, including Will, but he is very heroic and straight-laced and kind of vanilla all around, so a dash it is. Then a decent pour of red Gatorade. Both because this is an Eldritch Blast cocktail, so we want it as red as the hells, but also because being the Blade of the Frontiers is hard work, so Will needs to keep up his stamina. And finally, because Will is definitely the golden boy of the bunch, in game at least, let's garnish with a healthy sprinkle of edible gold dust. So there we have it. While she doesn't smell amazing, I have to admit, she looks beautiful. So time for a taste test. Hello Alex, today in your hands you have the Eldritch Blast, and this represents Will from Baldur's Gate 3. And like the last two videos, I just want you to taste the drink and kind of tell me what you think about it. Okay, let's... Uh, how did it smell, by the way? Um... Like I'm about to sell my soul. <laughs> Very on point. Okay, from your reaction, you're loving this one. I just know it. This is the winner. We can stop these videos now. This is the one, right? You know, for as strange a combination of things I'm sure went in here, it doesn't really taste like much of anything. Wait, what do you mean, like water? Yeah, it tastes very faintly of Gatorade and it burns of alcohol, but... Like Mizora's packed Hellfire. I, I definitely feel a bit hellishly rebuked. Well, I guess the real question is, would you sell your entire soul to a literal devil if you got free Eldritch Blast for life and not the power like this drink, specifically? Uh, I wouldn't sell my whole soul. How much but, of it would you sell? You would sell any part of your soul for this? Well, there's no such thing as a free lunch. I gotta earn my keep, make my way somehow. I think I would max out at a tenth of a percent of my soul. Admirable. And as always, the real question of this episode is, how would you rate this drink on a scale of 1 to 10 for flavor? And also, how would you rate this drink on a scale of 1 to 10 for faithfulness to Will's character? Um, for flavor, I'm going to give this 0 0.4 out of a great old one. And... So like 5 out of 10, basically, right? 4 out of 10. Okay, not bad, not bad. And then for faithfulness to the Blade of Frontiers, I'm going to give this 5 two, blades two. out of 7 frontiers. Not bad at all. Can I taste it, by the way? Let me see it. Hand it over. Oh! That's not as good as you were saying. Well, there you have it. Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, wow. bah. 